Hello everybody! I'm dressed funny today. Can you notice any difference to how I usually look? <laughs> so the long and short of why this, why my face looks like this, is because we're having a dungeon warming party and the theme is hotter than Hades and I wanted to go as like, you know, Hades, Underworld, some sort of like half goat, half people. But when I did the makeup, I realized that my goat ears and horns weren't done. I, I made goat horns and ears. They look like this. But I don't have them yet, so I look a bit silly. I wanted to practice doing goat makeup, but I also wanted to make a YouTube video. So I decided that we're going to have a Bambino's Double Bill. <laughs> Divey review. I just happen to have goat makeup on. But I look really dumb without ears, so I think I'm gonna go find my other pairs of ears and decide on a pair to wear. And it doesn't really look like a goat, I feel like more of a cat than a goat. Oh well. Okay, so I got these ones. If I like bent them towards this way... No, I still just look like a puppy. I bent them down like this, that looks like a little bear. Bear, bear, bear. Okay, so there's those, that's an option. And there's also... I like making ears and headdresses and things for costumes. They rarely turn out good enough quality to keep them, but these are a pair of bunny ears that I made one year to wear to work for Easter, because I had this thing at my old job where I would make a custom headdress for every day that I went to work on like a special holiday. So I did one for Easter. Um, I did a couple for Easter, like a couple with like an Easter basket. I had some eggs in there. I did one for St. Patrick's Day that was a rainbow with a pot of gold on the end. I do big ones for Christmas. But yeah, the, these Easter ears are from like maybe four years ago, but they're still in good enough nick to, to still wear them, so I'm quite proud of that. But they're very heavy and they're big and they're going to poke out the top of the frame for half the thing. So I think I'm going to go with these ears. Oh, the ear-based content is over and done with. Let's get into the video. got this ukulele and I'm very happy about it and I just wanted to show you guys that I have a ukulele now. It has nothing to do with diapies or the fact that I have goat face on right now. I just like it. <laughs> so today's review is a head-to-head -head showdown of two Bambino products. One is a retread of an older print that has been around since since the beginning of time, I'm pretty sure. When I first became an ABGL, these were these were a diaper that people wanted, people liked, and for good reason. So they've re they've remade it as an all over print. It's the Bambino Classico, wee, which I've always really liked. Against, and I'm a silly silly bean because I completely forgot to keep one for showing purposes because I'm testing them. So I put on my last one just before. So this is what they look like. They are called the Bambino Carnivali, spelt with a K and two E's. But they are a circus pattern diapy and I find them hilarious. So I did paper mache, that's why my dress is all gross looking. They're called Carnivali, spelt K-A-R-N-A-V-A-L-E-E. -E. So there's that. Okay, I don't want to be too mean to the newbie here. I just think the name is a bit... So I'll start by, I'll give you some information about the... My kitty's meowing at me. What? Meow. All right then, bye. None of them wanted to be my pal today. So I'll start with just some general info about the Classico all over print. So the Classico V2, they're calling it. 
according to the website, they're super absorbent. Um, let's see, comes from its double drum foam core and more polyacrylates than any other diaper for its size. That's pretty good. They say that a medium size fits waists of 32 to 44 inches and a large size fits 38 to 50 inches. And supposedly they hold 3,548 mil. So, upon opening up, I bought the large size of these because I had heard through the grapevine that they ran a little bit small. So I'm pretty much, I'm usually at the, oh my cat. So I'm usually smack bang in the middle of size ranges if I'm, yeah. Do you want to come up here and say hi to people? He doesn't, he just wants to be loud and make his presence known. Yes, you're here, we know. Okay, for the third time. I'm smack bang in the middle of sizes and if I hear that products tend to run on the small size then I'll usually jump up to and, and grab the larges. Um, or if I'm feeling like, I don't know, I want to be particularly small feeling and I want the diaper to come up to above my waist, then I'll go for a large. I'm glad I got the large for these ones because they feel a lot more comfortable I reckon than they would have if I had had the medium. Um, so sizing I can say has been pretty comfortable for me but then again I did go up a size. Two tapes and this isn't a hybrid diaper. So a lot of diaper companies have been moving away from just this standard form of tape in favour of the hybrid style with the velcro style tapes, the velcro landing area on the front. Uh, these guys haven't do done that, they've just had regular plastic up the top, regular plastic tapes, and I haven't had much of an issue with the tapes. Uh, let's see, they're really really wide, I know I'm like moving this all over the place, they're really really wide in the middle, so that might just be because it's a larger size than what I than what I usually wear but no I think they are quite significantly wide and you get the waddle feeling when you're wearing them. Leg gathers, what do we got? We got some pretty tough ones like the exterior leg gathers and these ones while not very high they do extend pretty much the entire length of the diaper which I'm always a fan of. They feel pretty soft. They don't feel as soft as other brands that I've felt before, but hey, not every diaper can be made out of comfortable marshmallows and clouds. But it's still good, it's still a diaper. Um, I managed to get like several hours of wear out of one of these ones. I put it on maybe 5 p.m. and then I didn't take it off until the morning when I woke up for work the next day. So that's at least 12 hours of wear out of one diaper, which Thumbs up, I think that's very very good. And the Classico pattern is just so nostalgic and adorable and I think it really works for the all over print. I think it's one of those patterns like I didn't think that the Bellissimo all over looked as cute as it does when they're the little tiny jibby ones across the front but I think this print because it's so simple it blew up really well and it looks really good when it's big. I kind of think that I might prefer the version 2 to the original version. Um, I've also noticed that the front of these are a lot taller than the original Classico diaper because I always felt that the original Bambinos sat just a little bit too low on my hips and even though this is a, a different size to what I usually wear I found it came up very very high um, which I liked a lot. I always had an issue with the feeling of having a really low waisted diaper so I feel a lot more comfortable in diapers that go up a little bit higher it just feels like I'm less likely to fall out of it <laughs> it's less likely to fall down which would be a stressful experience so yep Classico V2s are V good okay the Bambino Carnivale uh, these ones do have hybrid tapes I will say. So they don't have the same diaper shape as the V2. Uh, they, they're quite significantly different. I would say that they're, they're, close, they're closer to the original than to the newer versions, if that makes sense. So these guys, a medium, again, fits between 32 and 40 
inches waist and a large fits between 38 and 50 inch waist. They both come in bags of eight and I think they're both comparable in price. Ooh, a cat. So these guys are said to have a 500 mil capacity, which is nothing to be scoffed at. That's pretty good. Um, there's, which I hadn't have put on my last one, I'm gonna have to. There are waistbands at the front. So the back waist waistband isn't super apparent. Um, yeah. They're a medium rise sort of diaper. This is where they come up to on my belly. So that's my natural waist there. And just for scale reference, this is where the Bambinos, the um, B2 Classicos were sitting. So these ones are quite, they're lower, but they're not uncomfortable. So they have the hybrid tapes beep, with the hook and loop landing zone. I'm gonna sit down, it's weird. So yeah, they have the hybrid tapes, which I like. I would say that I'm a bigger fan of the hybrid tapes than I am of just the standard ones. I like the control of being able to refasten a Velcro tape. So these guys, they're significantly thinner in the crotch area, so they're less waddly, which really interests me because you would think that the big hulking behemoth of V2 would then hold more, but supposedly these ones hold 500 mil, I mean, five liters, which I'm inclined to believe. So this is another one that I tested by wearing overnight and I've just sort of been wearing them around the house and seeing how they feel. And I have to change this one not super frequently, which I think is pretty cool. So they're, a, they're an endurance diapy, they're a long distance diapy. And now we get to talk about the pattern. I think it's weird, just a little bit. So merely because of the giraffe's face, look at his face. What's he thinking about? Is he thinking about anything? I don't know. Is that smile hiding a dark secret? I don't know. And frankly, I don't think that I want to know. I wanted to like them because they're carnival print. And the idea of a carnival print diapy sounds super cute to me. But I just don't think that this pattern was very well executed, which is a disappointment. The faces on the animals, they kind of scare me. If the animals were drawn in a different art style, I think I could quite get on board with the pattern because you've got, the bo I'm just looking at a picture on my phone, you've got the popcorn, you've got a big ball, you've got bunting, um, you've got a pinwheel, you've got a lot of things that could have made this diaper print really cute. I just, their faces, their faces are so scary. The diaper itself, I really like the way the diaper feels. But if I was going to buy another packet between both of these, a good chunk of the appeal of this kink fetish pastime, whatever you want to call it for me, is aesthetics. And I like feeling like I have something cute on my buns. I just don't get that feeling from these diapers. So I think they're a very, very good utility diaper. They're good at what they do. They're very comfortable and if you can get past the print or if you like the way the print looks, awesome. That's that's great. These are a cool diaper and you should give them a go. But I personally am going to give this victory to the Classico V2s because they're just so sweet. And they're more close to my personal style, which is goat style apparently today. <laughs> I am very, very excited though about, I saw Bambino has a whole bunch of new styles in and I'm really excited to give those ones a try. The Skadoodle ones, is that what they're called? School Doodle. Oh, because they're, they're school bits. Okay, they're really cute. Although, I don't know how I feel about the eyes on the owls. I think that it might just be the art style that's, that's weirding me out. Because with the School Doodles ones, I like the background bits, but I don't like the characters that have eyes. So it might just be a me problem, maybe. I think it might also be that this art style is so vastly different from any of the other patterns and things we've seen from Bambino diapers in the past. 
Uh, when I first saw these, I was really surprised to learn that they were Bambino diapers because when you think of Bambino, what do you think of? You think of the, the little wee guys on the Bellissimo, you think of the blocks, and you think of plain. Well, that's what I think of when I think of diapers. You might think of Cloudies, you might think of any other of Bambino's prints, but my point is they've always been pastel colours, really soft lines, and no giant, huge-eyed giraffes and lions and owls that look like they're going to eat your face. I think this might be the most negative review I've ever done. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Maybe goat me is mean. Maybe I shouldn't be a goat. Bambino Classicos win! Whee! Oh, I <laughs> don't know why I did that. You might also have noticed that I've moved my my filming area because when I edited the newest chapter of Little Land, the noise from the cars was driving me absolutely bonkers. So I moved my desk and I moved my lighting and everything into my little room. Um, I will give you guys a little room tour when everything is properly set up and I'll give you a tour around the house and around the dungeon as well. I'll be doing a Littles Down Under unboxing very, very soon because I got a notification today to say that my packages were being delivered on Monday, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to open them for you for the first time on camera, so I'm going to have to force myself to not even just have a peek because I ordered them before Christmas and I have no clue what I ordered, but I know it's a big order, so I'm very excited. So thank you for tuning in and watching my video, um, I hope you enjoyed yourself, I hope you had fun, and I hope my goat face wasn't too distracting for you. I hope you all have just the loveliest rest of your week, or weekend, or whatever time of time it is where you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody! Just in case you didn't know, both of the diapers that I reviewed today can be found at Littles Down Under. I'll leave a link for you in the description box. And if you use code DARCY5 at checkout, you can get 5% off your next order. Thanks everybody! Bye!